So I came out here to make a first impressions video of my new ski boots, but it's really, really difficult because the snow is absolutely appalling. But I'm going to do it anyway because the next time I use them it won't be my first impression. So, yeah, but yeah, as you can see in the background, there's very little snow left at San Jose now anyway, and what little is left is like glue, so I can't properly ski it at all. But yeah, again, it is what it is, I'm stuck with it. So I joked in one of my first review videos of these Ellen skis that I'm on today that I'm going to need to get some new boots because my old boots clashed with the skis. Which is true, also because my old boots were just really really old so I couldn't do the skis justice. So I finally got around to buying some new boots and still kind of clash a little bit. Melon yellow and lime green, not quite the same but it's just an improvement from the orange and the lime green. But anyway, yeah, these are definitely a much more aggressive, much more high level boot. I'm looking forward to properly testing them, just not really today in this porridgey slush. So what are the new ski boots? Well they're the Salomon S Pro 130. So the S Pro range replaced the old X Max range which is one of Salomon's top sellers in the past and 130 being a 130 stiffness boot is the stiffest boot in the range. So these are a mid volume version, they also come in a HV or high volume version which I actually thought initially I'd probably need because I've got very wide feet and high arches but so far so good with the mid, mid, mid volume version so hopefully it's more than good enough for me. So they have a 100mm last which is very much lower mid end of the range but they can be stretched up to 106mm in theory so I haven't had these moulded at all yet, the liners nor the shells just straight out of the box already they're pretty comfortable. I probably will get them heat moulded, because you can. There's, there's no point in not doing it when you've got a, a, a technical boot which can be fully customised fitted to your foot. Might as well get it done. But yeah, for now, day one, first impressions, out of the box, pretty comfortable. I've got them cranked up pretty tight at the moment and I haven't needed to loosen them off on the lift so far. Whereas that's what I normally do on my old boots every time I get on the lift. So yeah, plenty of wiggle room for my toes. No hot spots or pain just yet, but I'm only on two runs. But yeah. So as I said, with this, with this snow conditions, it's really hard to actually give a proper first impression of what they ski like. But just in terms of standing on the skis, even though they've only got, in theory, a 12.5 degree forward lean, they actually feel quite a bit more aggressive than my other boots. It might just be because I've got much higher cuff height, or because of maybe that rear spoiler. But yeah, definitely feel like I'm in a much more aggressive skiing position, which is great. It's exactly what I was after. In theory, that should mean I'll be able to get much lower down in the turn and get some really aggressive good carving done on these skis and boots, which is, again, that's what, I'm, that's what I want to do. But yeah, today so far, what's happening is every time I go to do a turn, the ski's just constantly grabbing and sliding and grabbing and sliding, so it's incredibly drudgery, as you'll see in the videos. So yeah, really can't say much about how they actually perform at all so far. But yeah, I'm going to do a few more runs anyway to keep going, tell you, what I find, tell, what, tell you what I find and how I feel. But yeah, first impressions are very much limited by the snow conditions, unfortunately. But then it's mid-April, so what can you do? So to summarise my very brief first impressions, you've got great out of the box comfort, as well as obviously loads of moldability afterwards. So I've got quite wide feet with a high arch and they fit me quite well already without any adjustments, which is great. So if you're someone with big wide feet, these might well be the boot for you. Despite the relatively modest forward lean, they feel like they put you in a suitably aggressive skiing position for an advanced ski boot, which is what they're for. So. <coughs> Obviously I've not been able to fully put them to the test today when there's really sticky snow but yeah you can get down low, ski hard, ski aggressively which is what you want. There's not a huge amount more to say based on just a quick hour's skiing on very dodgy snow but yeah for now definitely pleased with the purchase and I look forward to being able to ski them properly on some better snow soon.